So I want us to be very vocal about what it is we feel that we need to get rid of. Love you guys. Yes. Oh. yes. Thank you. That's Denise. amazing. Thank you. Water. To visualize them. What do you want to do? At the same time, it's target my co-parents into this new transition that I want to do. Stop talking about if anyone says Rome again, go home. I ain't played that one game. Finish. And we're, we're joking only co parent, but we are one big blended family. Because I know it can't possibly be about an item that was somewhere or somebody got to be bribed. Nobody has to be. That is really rude. I'm trying to get you to understand that I have triggers. I'm listening. I'm no, you're not. I expected it. You did? Yes, I so did. So why did you warn me? Because it, that's not my place. It is your place. Hey, this was your planning. It was important. And if it's broken, if you were, man, you'd be trying to fix it. He had a guest. He had to come tonight. A female guest? Yes. Is she coming to dinner? It's going to be a nightmare. Oh, Hello. So it is. is. Episode of the Urban Binge right here on Rebel TV. Thank you so much, YouTube, for letting us use your platform. Okay, because one day I'm gonna be like um, Zeus Network. We don't have our own network. Not called Rebel TV. Okay, because Rebel TV is good, but it ain't all that. All right? You know what I'm saying? It ain't all that. It's a mixture of my name, Rico Bellucci. You get it? Like Rico Bellucci. So R I B E L. Rico Bellucci. Yeah. It's a mixture of my name. Okay. Anyway, before we get started, guys, please, please hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you, everybody who's supporting, who's watching constantly. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. But I need you guys to hit the thumbs up. Please, guys, hit the thumbs up and go watch my other videos, guys. Please hit the thumbs up on my other videos. Watch my other videos. Find out who I am. Find out who we are. Um, it's not just one of us. It's two of us, although I'm always on video. You know, he'll come back one day on video, but he's helping behind the scenes big time, okay? And I really appreciate that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going run through this episode because i really don't like the episodes to be an hour or over an hour you know when they're over an hour it makes me feel like eh, it's not gonna be that good so I, I like to try to keep it under an hour and last week the video was an hour and 17 minutes long and i'm sure you guys see that but thank you so much for everybody who is watching it um and tuning in i want to say one more thing before i get started um clickbait is allowed on youtube so because i'm um titling my videos a certain thing does not mean that um, it's wrong because you don't like it doesn't mean that I'm wrong. So, um, you cannot like that. I'm titling it the way that I'm titling it. Um, that that's no, I, I don't give a fuck. Um, I'm not going to change it and put the word review in there or any of that. Read the description, um, or just get the fuck on. I've been dealing with this for a long time. We did, um, Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12 and we only did one episode of season 13. We got tired of NBC constantly claiming our shit when it, when it was edited and and rearranged and it's really not theirs if you guys go watch the episodes and then go back and watch how i added it in there you'll clearly see that i kind of switch it around a little bit still makes sense but i switch it around i don't i don't put words in nobody's mouth or nothing but i just switch it around to make it still be in the same context that they were meaning to put it in but just switch the wording around so that they don't claim it you know what i'm saying so that's what i do and um nbc was claiming it we had to talk to nbc attorneys and all this shit and um we got discouraged and also COVID, also COVID. um in that time COVID had started and i felt like i needed to be um praying and 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 just um fasting and stuff so that's what i was trying to do i was trying to pray and fast and i was so afraid in the time that we were in i was having really bad anxiety i could not do um season 13. another thing too nene leaks um wasn't really on that season with um toya and all of them so i don't think she was on there at all so i didn't want to do that without nene being there because she's my girl and she's the funny one to me you know um but i think i'm gonna do this season i think i'm gonna do this season of housewives of atlanta um i think i think we are 
Um, maybe. I, I ain't no guarantee. Because you know what? In the beginning, I said I wasn't going to do clips. I did pictures. If you guys go see episode one of Portia, my review of Portia, you'll see that there are only clips, um, pictures. I mean, there are, no, there are no clips. Now I've started adding clips again um, because I'm like, you know what? I can't help myself. I need you guys to see what I'm talking about, not pictures. But sometimes when I'm in a rush, y'all will get the edits just like episode one of Portia Family Matter. Y'all will get the edits just like that. But this particular time, I'm gonna continue to add the clip until NBC kind of um, let me know or badger me again, because I am in the right. As you can see, all of my Housewives of Atlanta videos are still up in the same place um, although they were claimed by NBC, they, the claim was released because I was in the right. I was not in the wrong, um, so they, they released the claim. I know my background was probably just glitching a little bit, so maybe we got the background right now. See, huh, Jay told me to cut off them Christmas lights. Them Christmas lights, y'all. The Christmas lights are blinking in the background like that, and uh, I just had to cut them off. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, also, I'm sorry that these videos are coming out um, a week after or seven days or eight days after they premiered. I apologize for that. I am very busy. I still have a life. I still have things to do and a, and a daughter to take care of. So um, I apologize for that. Anyway, let's move on. So this is Portia Family Matters, episode four. Dennis the Menace. Now, why y'all do that? Don't do Dennis like that. Ain't no Dennis the Menace. He ain't no damn Dennis the Menace. Don't do him like that. So scene one, Portia and family is still in Mexico. Um, fussing at the dinner table, and as you know, um, the re the food, the, the 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 last episode ended with to be continued. Together, we did what we had to do to bring him here. I ain't playing no, wait, now. Let me game. finish. What we're gonna do is we're going to look at ourselves and stop pointing the finger. It's not about blame. Look at yourself. Um, and I knew that it was gonna be to continue, cause bitch, I knew they had a lot more to say. Um, and boom, here we go. I will restart. I apologize, family, if it feels like I am throwing blank. I apologize. So they're arguing at the table, and Portia accepted responsibility for her part of um, the whole thing. And she, you know, apologized for what she needed to apologize for. Um, although, you know, I, I, I guess, Portia, um, no, nobody agrees. Um, Mama Gina, you know, kind of tried to make a comment about her apologizing. I apologize. I did not mean to throw anything on anyone. But what I really would love to know, everybody's true intention. That was kind of fucked up, Mama Gina. You ain't have to have some, like, come on. You ain't have to go there. Mama Gina, you ain't have to go there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she a potty dog. I'm like, come on. Come on, Crims. Come on, Crims. Damn, Crims. <laughs> I said I was gonna do that. Don't call that lady no damn Crims. Stop calling that lady that. She ain't no Crims. You know what she look like? She do look like the leprechaun. She look like the leprechaun. No, seriously. She look like the bride of the leprechaun. You know, we got leprechaun in the hood. Leprechaun, 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 all these leprechauns. She should star in the bride of the leprechaun. Bitch, starving. Gina, whatever fuck Dennis' last name is. What's Dennis' last name? Y'all know. Comment it below. Anyway, Lena, who conjured up all this mess, is steady trying to amp things up by doing a throat chakra activity. Bitch, we don't know what the fuck a throat chakra activity is. One of the highest forms of communication is silence, so let's practice therapeutic, compassionate listening. And whoever has this may use their throat chakra to share what their intention is. Aunt Liz is right. Lena is lost in black folks' land, boo. She lost. And what they have to say. Lena is lost in black folk land, and she doesn't know what to do about it. Danger, danger, danger. Okay. okay. See, here go Darlene, drunk as hell. My whole intention for this trip is that I have discovered. That's how her mama is and her sister. That's why I'm telling y'all, she the same way. She the same way as her sister, I'm telling y'all. In the last three months, I have discovered who I truly am. Just listen to her. And for the first time, my feet are beautiful. I would look on the internet and eat. Listen to her. Listen to her. I would look on the internet and eat. And say, boy, I wish I had some feet that looked like that. You know, the toenails are just so evenly spread. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> Yo. Dennis is a damn fool, okay? Yo, yo. <laughs> I had to look and see what's going on. I didn't know what to expect. It looked pretty normal to me, but I, I mean, I don't know. Okay. So Dennis actually looked down at her feet and took a look to see <laughs> how bad they are. Beautiful. As I grew up, my family 
They said, you had incredible puck feet. They look like body rubble and Flintstone, like in the car. Not incredible Hulk feet. Yeah, I was rolling on the floor. This is the Flintstone feet. They look like body rubble and Flintstone, like in the car mm. with your feet just on the ground touching all the time. Mm. And the other main reason why I'm here today. She actually called more attention to her feet than what was already noticed about them, I guess. I guess if anybody noticed, nobody really said anything or laughed. But if they did, maybe the cameras didn't catch that part. Maybe somebody was giggling about her feet and nobody knew. I don't know. Or maybe she's just a drunk bitch, like I said. I think Portia Mama is a drunk. I think that now that I see Grandma Ayana, I think Grandma Ayana can have a couple drinks and get a little loose with her mouth. And I think that Darlene can now that I see this shit. And the other main reason why I'm here today because I have a daughter sitting right over there. Mm -hmm. And I would like to be so much closer to her. The hell wrong with Darlene? I love you with everything I have. She needs you. Go over here, my hug your mom. Does she come no. over here? No. Go ahead. Storm is really childish. She's like, no, I'm not going over there. Not with her drunk ass. They really have a problem with each other. They really need to go to counseling her and her mom, seriously. Storm and her mom have had a lot of ups and downs. You know, there is no parenting manual. And as a mom, as a dad, you really just do the best you can. You will definitely have some shortcomings. Storm says she is too drunk and embarrassing. I'm not going over there, period. Portia's right. Leave it to your teenager to be the honest one. And trust and believe. Your teenager or your 23-year-old is going to be the main one to let you know what the hell shortcoming is. I, I'm going to make this quick. And let you know how it really is. And that's true. That's probably why Darlene and Storm has a strange relationship. Because these parents don't expect for their children to tell them about it. Think about how you was to your mama when you was a damn teenager or your, your young 20s. You know, your early 20s. You were probably loose at the mouth and felt like your mama needed to be let known the truth. Not everybody, but some people can be a little fly at the mouth. And be honest. You know, children can be real honest with their parents when they feel like they have that freedom to speak up. And then it'll really hurt the parents. They can't accept it because my child is telling me about myself. You know what I'm saying? So then it's a whole nother thing. And now it turns into an awkward relationship because now I done called you about, about something you didn't know I noticed about you. You know what I'm saying? That's how it gets. That's how parents get. That's how, that's why I'm like, you know, with my little girl, I'm going to make sure that I be as authentic as possible so that when she do call me out, she calling me out about some shit I can't do nothing but admit because I try to be as authentic as possible around her. And I know I say this all the time. I'm an Aquarius. So, yeah, we keep it 100 anyway. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's move on. Aunt Liz is giving me that she don't even know Portia or Lauren. Damn, Aunt Liz. I, I want to make this quick. I don't, I don't know why I'm here anymore. Mm. And I don't know these people. I don't even know you. And the only person at this table that's in my family may be... Londi and I was trying to get to know you. Oh, but you know what? I think she was talking about Dennis. She wasn't talking about Lauren. They put the camera over there because she said the only person in my family is Londi. And then I was trying to get to know you and they panned the camera over to Lauren. And I guess the focus was on Lauren and we missed that the camera was on Lauren and Dennis together. So she might have been talking about Dennis and not Lauren. Because I'm like, wait, you're trying to get to know. But you know what? Like I said before, Portia definitely has a strained relationship with her father's side. And I was trying to get to know you. There's a distance between us because the people you guys are calling family, I don't even know them. But how these people claim they're in the family. What is the family? And maybe I'm in another family because you're not in my family. She has a strained relationship with her father's eye, and ain't no doubt about it to me. Um, I, They don't like the way she do things, or they didn't in the past, and now they're okay with it. But that's probably going to come out a little later, that Aunt Liz and Portia dad's side um, is, they just, they just strained. With Portia, they just strained. I think it's going to What's happening? Because <laughs> Lauren and I are so close, we have our circle. Dom is Lauren's best friend, and Lauren's best friend feels like we kidnapped her and brought her here to the dinner. And she's like, wait, what am I doing here? Who is these people? What's happening? So I'm about as confused as she is. And he's also become very close to me after working for me. OK, so well, I didn't so even know that. Aunt Liz don't seem too fond of Portia. I don't know. I know I keep saying it, but I just don't think so. I think it's going to come out. We're going to see. Let me just move on from that. You have to understand that there are different levels of knowing. I don't know Storm. I don't know Darlene, really pleasant in each other's company, but we would never go out and have drinks and hang out close. 
So Denny's mom says she cannot be around shellfish. Shellfish is too strong for me. I'm allergic to shellfish. Uh -oh. I needed to leave the room because the smell of the shellfish was just overwhelming. I can't do that. Portia them know that last week, or the week before last, one of them weeks, they just ordered Mama Gina some food and she garlic or something like that. And she said, give her a lot of it because she's allergic to it. Haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I'm glad you could come out today. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Can we figure out what you'd like to do for lunch? Yeah, I'm gonna start with the mussels. Barbecue wings. Now, she's allergic to garlic, so extra garlic. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'll make sure I let the kitchen know. Okay. So she's fully aware of what Mama Gina is allergic of, I'm assuming, and still allowed them to have seafood everywhere at this goddamn dinner. I, I said, damn, I think that was on purpose, Portia. Some people probably thought, yeah, I got up because I didn't want to be around them anymore. I probably would think that myself. <laughs> She was trying to work that bitch off, but she know Dennis' big ass ain't getting up from no goddamn food. Now his wide head ass, he ain't getting up. Jughead is not getting the fuck up from no food. Mama, bye. I'm sitting my ass right here. Shellfish or not, Dennis probably allergic to shellfish his damn self. Still sit up there with a swollen throat and all. Sit up there eating goddamn shellfish. Don't give a fuck wide head ass. Jay said Gina is hood allergic. Jay said that there's a such thing as hood allergic. Well, black folk be talking about they're allergic to shit to the point where they can't even be around it. <laughs> Jay said ain't no way you that allergic to some shit, but you can't even goddamn smell the shit. The fuck? Which I can kind of understand. And Funky Dineva said something to, to that extent before too. I just can't find the goddamn clip. Nevertheless! Dennis, why you keep coming for Storm? Why? Dennis, are you ready to talk about your intentions? You should give it to Storm. Oh, yes. Give it to Storm. Thank you. I don't really have much to say, but since I got to stick, I think... Like, they ask you, are you ready to speak? And you suggest that Storm get the goddamn chakra or the stick or whatever the fuck it is. But why don't you get the goddamn stick? What the fuck you call this girl name for? I think that there are some people at this table that have problems with me. You should tell your mama you love her. She just come up here and forge your heart. You talk about I'm yourself. I'm gonna get to that, but see, you ain't supposed to be talking right now because I got sick. Leave this girl the fuck alone. You stop being a damn bitch. You need to roll with these fellas and not try to roll with these women. I don't roll with nobody. Okay, well, you need to stop trying to roll with the women, okay? okay? You need to stay out of women's business. You stop Let's trying to be a damn bitch. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, problem. Though. Keep it real. Gotcha. You can't talk. I would like to cultivate some relationships that's actually real, like the other ones that I have with some people at the table. I don't, I don't got nothing to say. Now Dennis is interrupting the damn girl. Why? What, what was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? What was the reason? Why? 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 Give your digits. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, sure. yeah. It's very important. This family is, is broken. And uh, that's very clear. So now Dennis is ready to speak after Storm. You should have been grabbed the damn stick. Stop suggesting people. Talkative, damn mute. I'm not trying to single out Portia, but it really starts with Portia because she's saying she's the head of this family. My intention on this trip, build a relationship with Simon so we can start our process of co-parenting. Yes. I don't agree with Dennis saying that it all starts with Portia. I don't agree. How does it all start with Portia? Because she's the one with the, a lot of money or something? Like, I don't agree with that. Everybody is to blame for their own fucking wrongdoing or wrong actions, period. Portia's not to blame just because she got most of the money. She's the the start of it all. How she the start of it all, bitch? Y'all got y'all grown. Y'all adults. Take responsibility for y'all own actions. Because I bet if Dennis was sitting at the table with his goddamn family and somebody was telling Dennis that because he the richer one out of the family, he would not accept that. Period. You know, I'm here to support, you know, Portia, because at the end of the day, it's about her being happy. Y'all feel me down there? Storm, right? But we got to come to the table about, like... Oh, my God. Like, what just made Dennis just say this girl name again? Damn. He just will not leave Storm alone. Truth and honesty and accountability. Accountability starts with yourself. When I got, when I got the stick, you can't be negative with the stick. When I got the stick, you shouldn't talk. You're the grown-up. You're the older one. You should learn to be quiet. Right. I'm feeling like Storm. What's your issue with me, Nick? You shouldn't be talking about you her. You keep talking, her directly. You keep yeah, talking to her when I watch you bite back. That's keep poking me and that's what's gonna happen. What's I the issue? What's the issue? Because issue? you fake too. I don't give a The fuck? As soon as Storm starts yelling, the disaster button is blinking. Beep, 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 beep. Disaster. Dennis gets a kick out of nitpicking with Storm. That's what it seems like. It seems like he get a, a, a kick out of it. Just listen to him. She need to be stopped. She need to be stopped. 
when she was 18, 19 years old. She worked for me at my club. She was fired multiple times. It's a nation, talking crazy to folks. Like, this is not just an issue with me. It's out of control. She needs to be stopped. Boy, shut the fuck up. You need to be stopped. You need to be stopped. Why I hear that? Right, I'm out. I'm out. Y'all got time for this I go home. I got time for this. I can't because you asked Bye. me to. Shut the up. Don't. No, did it. Oh. I got time for your kids. All she do is talk. Porsche on eight and Dennis on nine. They almost 10 hot. If so, don't talk to her okay, like that. Exactly. I'm going home. I got to be here, bro. No, not that. Not that it's like that. Is that your that's grand exit? That's, that's his grand exit. Portia, you didn't have to fuck with him as he left the building. Come on, you giving us more reason to believe you still want that old thing back. I was like, oh, you know, Pete, why, why, why you looking fine? I forgot you was married. And what? I'll just tell you one thing and it just go out of control. Yeah, okay. You know what that uh, tells people a little bit, right? What? They may think you're still interested. Mommy. Yeah, that was a joke. What? <laughs> it just seems like you have to find an argument with this damn boy. Like, damn, it seems like you cannot not argue with Dennis. Leave him the fuck alone. Don't say shit. Mind your business. Turn your back to the door. Pay attention to Simon, your African um, king, prince, Princess Thotlandia. Our princess of Thotland. I come not bearing gift, I come bearing plentiful ass. <laughs> of course, I'm princess of Thotland, of Thotlandia. And Portia seems like she forget that they are not together anymore. I'm pissed. It's not appropriate to talk to family like that. And I feel like he wouldn't want anybody to do that to Pilar. He's got to choose his words and project his anger where it's supposed to be. You can't get mad because this man said, fuck you, what? That's too harsh. Shut the up. Don't. No, did it. Oh. I got to have your kids. All she do is talk. Kind of like y'all was making a big deal about Kenya calling the girl a cunt. I'm going to talk to her. We're talking about you. And we're giving you. out that. Let's talk about you. Talk the you. fact is you are a real Oh, don't say that. Oh, don't say that. Get lost. Disgusting. Yes, and you were too. Because you asked. Was it really that serious? Like, oh, my God. Chill. I don't think it's that serious. No, no, no. no. Let me just make a point. No, 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 no. She didn't want to make a point when she was at the table. I don't got time for this. Go. Oh, hell. Here come Crimson Chin. I mean, um, Miss Gina to the rescue. No, we're going to say Leprechaun. Miss Leprechaun. But I love Gina. Stop playing. It's okay. We still have a few days. The burden is not on you. You have to understand that. We feel is that you should have told her, let him speak, be quiet. You had your turn. Why the hell Dennis keeps saying this girl want to be Portia? You want to be with her. The fuck? Maybe in some situations, we have to be, be the bigger person. You I got the stick. Trying to fix you. Yeah, I'm trying to tell y'all what's your problem. Not, but it's not you yeah. to fix her. It's not for She's you not to fix Portia. her. She's not Portia. She want to be Portia. She ain't Portia. So you're not Portia language. Hell yeah. Dennis hates this girl for whatever reason. He does not like Storm. For whatever reason it is, he just don't like the girl. And it seems like maybe her story isn't completely true. She's claiming that Dennis used to flirt. It was very hard for me to work in his establishment just because he's just a flirtatious person, period. And I tell him all the time, like, don't, don't do that over here. You date my cousin. He's claiming that that's a complete lie. Ultimately, it was hate from there. Like, oh, you dated Dennis? He fired me, blah, blah. She, you know, told Portia I was liking her. And then it came out, she was lying. It's like, oh, now you gotta cut Storm off. And then he's constantly fucking with her. Like, like, like he really hates her. So like, did she, lie some of the way because what i believe is that some of what she's saying is true and some of what she's saying is not true i think that um maybe you know some of her story is accurate and some of it isn't and it went the wrong way i think that it might have caused friction between portia and dennis and and for some reason he just disliked her maybe he just disliked her because she ran her fucking mouth and don't nobody do that to dennis boo you gonna suck this dick and not tell nobody <laughs> That is funny. Hell, he probably done fucked Diane already. Ain't no telling. Let me stop playing. No, for real, let me stop playing. I don't got time for this shit. I am done for today. I don't think Storm has a healthy respect for her elders. Aunt Liz is absolutely correct. Storm looks up to Portia a lot. She does seems as if she has a healthy respect for Portia, as if Portia is her elder. I think Storm thinks Portia is her elder. She has a healthy respect for Portia. Yeah, I'm gonna go get started. And I think it's because, you know, Portia is her big cousin and she is somewhere where she aspires or would like to be. So it's like, shit, yeah, I look up to Portia and I don't want to disrespect her in no way because when Portia done with a wig, she called me with it. Lauren, y'all can be prideful as fuck, bitch, she give me the wig. When she done with that outfit, bitch, she called me and give it to me. When she done with them heels, bitch, she called me and give it to me. Just wait till um, Storm growed up a little bit. Storm gonna be some thickums. Watch, she gonna be thick just like Portia. I don't know what happened to Portia. Portia came on the show, skin and bones on Real Hot Sons of Atlanta. Now Portia is fucking 
ham hogs and turkey all the way around 360. If you had your butt done. I know, I heard. She knows this is cornbread fed. Let me, honey, don't oh. try me, boo-boo. Oh. 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 This is The girl, pick up some. Oh, I ain't even got a move, boo. A lot of ass, Portia. Portia serves booty and titties. Storm is right. Why does Dennis keep coming for her? Like, why? Are you okay? I don't understand why he keeps coming for me. Like, I'm not even the reason for him being here. You should be focused on your relationship with Simon. You should be focused on Pilar. I mean, I can go sit back down. I just need to, say, I just need to walk. You okay? For a second. You gonna get some fresh air? You gonna get some fresh air. You don't call our family, does he? You don't even know our family. Now, I do not agree with Portia in this confessional. Why is Dennis trying to get all the attention from the trip? Like, for real. Like, dude, you're creating all this drama when we should be focused on co-parenting for our daughter. He just creates issues, that's all. I don't see Dennis trying to take all the shine. I don't see him trying to get camera time and be the star of the show. I don't see that. I really see him being meek. I see him being um, quiet. You know, I see him not really talking much and, and not expressing himself like, he's, like he should, honestly. That's what I kind of see. I see that he being a, a weak a little bit. So I don't see him trying to get all the shine and camera time. I don't see what you say you see. Scene two, Lundy and the assistant, Lauren, moving to a new suite to trade with Dennis. Oh, so now Dennis gonna make them change rooms with each other? Really, Dennis? What do you mean I should say bye? Dennis is taking this room. Dennis needs his own pool room. And Lauren, you need to move to the big suite. We have an infinity pool. I have an infinity pool. Dennis needs this. Start packing, love. So Dennis is making him change room because he has a date coming in. Lauren does not like that because she want to do the nasty with Dennis. So if he moving rooms, how are we going to do the damn nasty? Why is he moving? We gave him his own space. He's his own door. I'm in a three bedroom suite. And in my suite, we're going to have Londy and Dennis. This is a horrible idea. Y'all. I don't understand how he thinks he can change the room assignments when I made them anyway. That's what I'm saying. Like, Lauren is right. Dennis is coming for Storm, and Lundy seemed like she just don't care for Storm. Tonight was a show. Yeah, it was. Okay, well, because of him. It wasn't because of him, though. Um, He really came at Storm. Storm was being a bitch. Storm needed to shut the up. Or for whatever reason. I don't know why, but it's giving me that she just don't care for Storm um, for whatever reason. No grown Dennis, man should no. ever tell I'm a young girl really to great. shut the up. But I should have told Storm to shut the up. Oh! I remember Storm when she was literally in like middle school. And so now Lundy is telling us how she knows Storm, why she don't care for Storm. And clearly, she don't like her. And like we've always bumped heads every few years. And she just never says hello. You don't say hey to people? You weren't. It's okay. Exactly. So Lundy claims she don't like Storm because, of course, her attitude, first of all, that's one of the things she tried to name. Then she says she don't speak to her when she comes around. Like, she don't speak. You weren't. It's okay. Like, it's just the rudest thing to me that she never says hello. Her whole attitude annoys me. So she doesn't care for her. But if we talk to Storm about the situation, Storm may say something totally different. Storm may say, Lundy, don't speak to her. We don't know. We only get in one side right now. I'm sleeping. We have to be up at like 7 a.m. 7 30. Can we keep arguing so we can get eight or nine? Jay said this before Dennis even said this, but Dennis is right. Um, Lauren can't control her own session. She just can't. Uh, you point your little finger. You can't even control oh, you your can. own session, man. You can't even control your I own can't session. control my own session? No, I can't control my brother in law. Oh, not brother in law. I'm unhappy with everyone. And one thing the witch Lena can't do is um, come here, conjure up spirits and then say, okay, we're going home, everybody, let's go. And no spirits have been dissolved, you know. <sighs> Lena probably doesn't know very much about black people at all. We don't call in familiar spirits because we believe in demons. Like, you can't, you can't do that. You have to, if you're gonna conjure them up, you gotta dissolve them. And that's something that these reality shows do a lot. They always, bring a specialist in, stir the pot up, and then leave it like that. That's because they want a season two, and they want the season two to be juicier than season one. Stay staying in meditation. I ain't making that. Come in, Lauren. See you, Lauren. Okay. I'm staying in, in Mexico because of Pilar. Really, did Dennis just look at Portia assistant Lauren's ass like that? Come in, Lauren. See you, Lauren. Okay. This nigga is ridiculous. I'm staying in, in Mexico because of Pilar, and I just didn't want to be the guy that ruined the trip. See you at six. Put positivity and love in your heart. 
Oh, not the positivity and love. That's yes. not in his heart. Is this nigga really texting his boo thing? Not in his heart. Scene three, Portia and Simon back in their suite having a conversation. My initial instinct was to talk to Dennis. I want him to stay, bottom line. Why but do you want him to stay? Because I, I want an effective co-parenting. I don't know of any others, not in my family, mm -hmm. that they've been able to transition. I mean, I'll text him and ask him if you made me for breakfast. Maybe something small, a small gesture. Very small. I think it's very important for Simon to have a conversation with Dennis. Simon said, fuck that. I need to go to dinner with um, Dennis and I need to have a talk with this nigga. Number one, that's gonna be Pilar's stepdad. This ain't no game. This ain't just no bubblegum ring on my finger and we just gonna be engaged forever. We are getting married and I want him to have a position as a co-parent. Portia said, this ain't no bubblegum machine shit. This the real motherfucking deal. I'm finna juice this nigga for every dime. Fuck you talking about? And we gonna see how long it lasts. And I do have one, one request from you. <laughs> what is it? I'm tired, my thighs hurt. What? Simon, I totally agree. Just pack his shit up, send it back in one piece. Portia, stop trying to harbor this man's shit for your own personal selfish reasons, bitch. You can pack up Dennis's and make sure that it gets to Dennis safe and sound. Okay. That's it. Portia, really, he don't deserve his own road back. When the two of you broke up, why didn't you break up with his things as well? I did break up with his thing. The robe was just one little thing. He's been forever asking for the robe, and I've been forever not giving it to him. He don't deserve the robe. It's more to the story, y'all. She she want this man. She loved Dennis. She want him. She loved him, and she wanted. She wanted. She wanted. Period. So on record, is this your robe or Dennis's robe? It, I confiscated the robe. The robe is my robe. I wear the robe sometimes in the house when I want to be fabulous. It is my robe. Now, it is. Simon is right. He said, I'm finna go tell Dennis, or you finna tell him, tell his mama, stop goddamn getting in his business, bitch. Go sit down, Crims and Leprechaun. Sometimes I believe in military strategies. And what's that? You have to tell him, I need you to step the f up. You have to tell your mama Gina, so I can have an effective co-parenting with your son. I say, hey, you need to stay the f out of our business. Something to think about. Scene four. Simon and Dennis having breakfast. Hey, baby Pillar at the beach. And of course, Darlene is still asleep. This bitch was so drunk last night, she knocked out. I wanted to speak to you and say, hey, being here was the right thing to do, and I applaud you for it. Thank you for um, accepting to meet with me this morning. Yeah. I'm excited to get to know you better as we build, man, and we just keep our focus on, on what's important. Yeah. Dennis sounds like a sucker, okay? He literally sounds like a sucker sitting here telling Simon to his face that he came here for you and for Portia. The reason why I'm here is because of you and Portia. We gotta raise PJ. It's also a time that me, you, and Portia has to spend together. Yeah. We gotta get that tight. What? Not for your baby, because that's what Portia trying to make it about, so I would think that that's what you would make it about. Like, why would you say you came here for you and Portia, not Portia and, and you know, my baby? You know, I would be, it, it, it makes you look like a sucker, even if it is for Dennis. I mean, even if it is for Simon, don't sit here and say for you and Portia. You already look like a sucker, nigga. You stop trying to be a damn bitch. You look more like a sucker saying some shit like this, and it's not for your baby, it's for both of them. Come the fuck on now. Yeah. Before we throw everybody else in the mix who, yeah. opinion really don't sure matter. matter, right? It's nice to have family around, but as you know, we notice your mom. Not only that, I don't know who wins here. I don't know if Portia wins here or if Dennis wins here. Because honestly, they both could be playing Simon together. They both could have went into this thing together knowing that we're going to play the fuck out of him, but we're going to be together still at the end of the day. And if things don't work out with me and Simon, me and you coming back to each other. It could be something like that. Or if not, who wins here? Is Simon sitting here looking like a punk bitch at this goddamn thing, whole retreat and all this? I mean, Dennis, I'm sorry. Um, with this whole situation, knowing that Simon was his friend and now I'm here at this resort, do, do Dennis look like a dumbass? You know, or, or, or does Dennis win because Dennis is getting paid to be here? Or is he getting paid to be here? or is Portia winning because now you embarrassed me last year on Housewives of Atlanta or the year before that on Housewives of Atlanta, cheating on me, doing whatever. I got you in counseling. 
So earlier this season, you and Dennis go to counseling, but he doesn't seem as receptive to it as you are. I mean, coming to counseling is just a, you know, it's a lot. And, Guess what? You know, when he told me he cheated because of postpartum depression, that I, I took it and it rolled right off my back like water off of a duck's back because first of all, we still had sex. Then it's really looking more like a sucker. Did he really just ask Simon to help him get his robe back? Absolutely. I need you to be favorite. I will take that robe if you can get it from me. I'll make sure you get it back. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Well, I mean, that's the only way he could get it back is if he asks the man, because the man going to be like, hell yeah, you can get your shit back. Get that shit up out of here. Period. I'll yeah. tell you one thing I did in my past relationship. I'm pretty good with packing them up. <laughs> <laughs> But he don't even know. Dennis, you about to get your roll back. And Simon already told Portia, pack that shit up, send it back to you in one piece. Dennis like, well, send it back then, because, um, nigga, y'all got money. I have a professional moving company that makes sure every piece of fabric makes its way to where it's supposed to be. And lo and behold, if, if Dennis didn't have the thought, he definitely got the thought that they rich now. So definitely give me my Versace roll back, nigga. If you got your own goddamn moving company, uh, professional moving company to move your shit, you know, this guy's really calculated. Somebody told me he's been married five times. So I'm not surprised he's got a move and come on speed, though. Unfortunately, need to be prepared for that. At some point, you know, I have a significant other, and then that's another dynamic, right? Portia said she didn't want me to bring a day here, man, but I didn't want to sit around for four days twiddling my thumbs. Dennis is really asking for help from Simon. So if you could, man, let her know I'm bringing a date, you know? Okay, sure, I'll talk, I'll talk to her. Hopefully we can enjoy the rest of this meal. <laughs> Trip too. Like, my man, can you ask her, can I get some pussy here? I'm tired, of, I'm tired of beating my dick. I need some pussy here. So tell her I'm bringing some pussy, period. Ain't no if and buts about it. Tell the bitch I'm bringing some pussy because I'm tired of sitting here beating this thing with my hands. Mama Gina, what you need to do is sit on the side. She at some point got up and walked out. You know, she wants the, the, the best for me, man. So sometimes and I tell her, like, you know, some of these battles ain't yours to fight. Me and Portia business, it's not your business. Mama Gina just... And you should never be invested in your grown-ass son <laughs> relationship. That's just going to create friction for everybody, including your own son. She needs to continuously be encouraged that, hey, you want to make sure your, your daughter's mom is good as well, so she can, you know, she can always, be, you know, be in the right headspace for your daughter when you're not around. For sure, 1,000%. Because one day your own son might say, you know what, Mom? I love you. I need to put some distance between me and you because every time you come around, you f up. Simon is right. You got to tell your mama to stay out of your business because she fucking the thing up because she... <laughs> For you, Dennis, seriously. For her to keep on trying to jump in to defend you and she don't know the real fact, she only know what Dennis told her. It's like, come on, like she fucking it all up for you. Oh, and what Diane told her. No, I did not cheat oh, on that him. That wasn't what I heard. Well, you're pointing to a certain person. A certain person. Mom. Oh. My mom never said I cheated on him. I know what conversation I had with your mom. Whatever the fuck Diane that told her ass. Scene five, Lauren and Lena leading morning glory meditation. Damn, the way Lena just rubbing all over Dennis' back and the way she spoke to him so seductively. She want that D. How you doing? How are you, Dennis? Oh, great. Where are you in the pool? Oh, I just had breakfast with Simon. And then Aunt Liz looked dead at Dennis' D. Damn. Cute. Aw, good. I mean, I'm so sorry about all that ramming stuff I did last night. I apologize. I'm glad to hear you say that. I can understand. Lauren is not happy that Portia is not here. Portia probably has some shit to do, but... Where's Portia? No, I think this is all we have. Honestly, the fact that Portia's not here, my feelings are hurt more than I'm mad. That's Portia for you. She's not interested, she probably gonna show up, and she ain't bold enough to tell you that I'm not interested and I'm not gonna show up, or I'm not interested and I, or, or I'm not gonna show up. One or the other. Hell, Portia not gonna let you know. She just not gonna show up. She lame as fuck for that. And it's her blended family. No one else cares that much if this family is blended. She's the one that wanted it, and she's not even here. She should have showed up. So sit in the most comfortable position that you can possibly get in. So now I want you to visualize someone that has triggered you. You started it! I just started it! Humans, we just are emotional creatures. Love is a part of who we are. Someone who rubs you the wrong way. I know Portia still love me, but sometimes it's just hard to get past certain stuff. You can feel this uncomfortable feeling and breathe. Now I invite you to gently open your eyes. Be patient with yourselves and with other people. Then he said, next time, y'all need to invite my mama. Where is um, Miss Leprechaun anyway? I love you guys. 
I need a favor. You got to bring Gina to the next one. She was so emotionally attached mm -hmm. to this family. Yeah. You know, and uh, she's having a harder time than anybody because it happened so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Scene six, Lauren and Lundy having a conversation about Dennis's date. Hey, Portia on Dish Nation. I told y'all that was the only reason why I was watching okay, Dish Nation. For Gary you know, and Portia. That's it. I don't watch for no other reason. But now Portia's gone, unfortunately. So I watch it every now and again on YouTube. So remember last night when Dennis did the whole I'm ready to trade rooms, blah, blah, blah. Right. And then he said today a girl is coming. Oh, Dennis was really not finna be jacking that dick for too many more days. He said, bitch, I got some pussy on the way. Period. We're full today. Well, this. I understand. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what's going on too. What is a girl gonna do but create more drama? Oh my God, the girl is here. Like, keep it in your pants for four days, man. I think we need to warn Portia. I think. Oh no. Oh shit. I think we need if to tell her. Girl around though, it's gonna be like last night. It's not gonna be productive. I know. When Portia finds out that Dennis brought a date, Portia is going to start sharpening her knives. Coming up next. Scene seven. Portia and family are loading up on the bus on the way to the cenote sink hole. Hey, Aunt Liz and everybody getting ready. To a cenote. Cenote. So pretty. I'm so excited. Storm is a fool. She ain't lied, though. Portia been getting ready for five hours. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah, where's Portia? Portia's literally been getting ready for like five hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dennis said they told him he cannot bring no pussy with him. The bitch here, but she can't go to the cenote. Sorry. Lauren told me I couldn't bring my girl to the cenote. Y'all in a relationship? I can't even support this family. It's also her birthday. I'm not gonna have two girls with one stone. Then knock that bird out over there and knock this bird out over here. They just controlling the hell out of poor Dennis. Why I hear that? After all, Portia probably would have threw her in the cenote river, but uh, she can swim, I'm pretty sure. Now she can swim, I'm pretty sure. Dennis is full. Storm is about as slow as Portia, so you know this slow shit run on her mama's side. Cause Aunt Liz ain't that ain't, ain't she use good words. Raise your hand if you're getting in the seat out. Is it called a seat out? The seat out. It's not a seat out, baby. The seat what? It's not a seat out. Nina, what is it called? They know that. Storm ass bitch C note. Portia, why you never correct me? Hell no, nah, Portia can't correct you. Hell, she got the same level of education you got, Storm. Y'all got the same level of education. She can't damn help you. Portia, why you never correct me? I thought you were talking about some money or some drugs. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, that sounds like some street <laughs> I don't even know what a cenote is. Me neither. It's a thing called. Uh, who? A thing called. It's the cenote, but I understand. It is spelled C-note, so I can understand. She read it how it's spelled, so I understand you. Storm, they tried to make, they tried to play you. I don't want to go, why would you put us on a sink on, Lauren? <laughs> now, why would you do that? Lauren has been going in lately on her confessionals, bitch. Damn. Last night's dinner was ridiculous. So I'm hoping that they come to this understanding that they need to follow some rules and they need to shut the F up for a second so that we can get through some things. Aunt Liz is asking about the ladies in Simon family. Aunt Liz, you probably will never meet the ladies in Simon family. The way that this is going down, it probably won't go down this way. Simon, when do we get to meet the women in your family? Why you haven't put us together yet? Because we have so much else going on. Because <laughs> I'm too busy putting you with my family. <laughs> the way Aunt Liz is imagining me in Simon family, it ain't gonna happen that way, boo. Scene eight, Portia and family arrive at the Sino Tasting Cold. Then it's really not how much feet that is, how much feet that is. Ebonics, Ebonics, Ebonics. I just want to explain to you, we are here to do a cleansing ritual. So we have a guide here to help us, Eric. My home is now your home, guys, okay? Welcome. Thank so you. let me explain you. The first cenote right here, 65 meters inside to the cave right there, guys. How much feet that is? It's, it's like uh, 42. 42 feet deep. 42 feet? Yes. Deep. It's super deep. Mm -hmm. 65 meters is 213.25 feet. Not dead bodies and shit. Oh, no, nah, cancel. Don't want to go there. I was asking Jay, do you want to go here? Hell no. Nah. Not dead bodies and bones and shit. Fuck no. Tell us more about these waters. So the people might sacrifice people and then, and well, it's part of the culture in my history. Like, you can find some heads, arms, some parts right there. You can find arms. What is that? Exactly. Body parts all over the place. We dive in the graveyard? Yeah. yeah. So get ready. Let's go swim now. Thank you. Oh, hell, here go the witch, Lena, again. Before we get into the water, 
We're gonna do a short meditation. <laughs> so when you feel comfortable, allow your eyes to close. They are gonna try this witch activity again. What is it you're ready to let go of in this moment? We'll use this as a talking stick. Didn't y'all learn from the last time y'all tried this damn activity? Don't fuck around with Lena and her witchcraft bullshit. So we're gonna try this thing again, because we tried it at the table and it failed. So we'll try again and pray a lot. Okay. I want to apologize, and if you want to call it let go, of... Oh, Lord, what Darlene got going on? The years that I wasn't present for my daughter, so I was just busy with business. Darlene sound just like her sister, Diane. They sound just alike. <laughs> and I apologize for that. So just give me a second chance to be the best mom that I can be, because all I want for you is the best. I, I know it take a long time, but the other thing is, if you try to give her some love and affection, Storm is the type of person she doesn't really receive it that well. We'll do our little hug, and then we're done. It's a reason why Storm is distant from her mom, I'm telling you. It's a reason. For whatever reason, it's something, it's something, it's something, it's something that is, her mama did something that Storm can't get over. I'll give you a hug before we leave. Can y'all do it right now? I mean, I'm not really a hugger, but I mean, I, I can Just give a hug. Shut up. Well, I'm not a hugger either. Yeah, can we right. have a real hug? I mean, all I ever get is a little... Oh, Lord, Darlene acting like she having an exorcist or something. What the fuck going on? And the hug barely fucking happened and she just went into a What the fuck? Jesus, thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, thank you, Jesus, thank you! Thank you! Okay. Then she started to break through. That was a breakthrough. Amazing work. Not only is I want to release all those goats of the civil rights movement. Hold on, y'all. Let's listen to this. I want to release all those ghosts of the civil rights movement. Yes. All the lynchings and the shadows. Okay, Aunt Liz is having a moment, and I love it. The beatings. All the things I dream about that were done to my people that haunt me. I let those ghosts go. This confessional and clip of Aunt Liz is gonna go down in history because there's only been a couple or a few times that Portia has been able to speak about her father's or her grandson's side, um, and then they show civil rights movement clips and stuff like that. So I can find out who is Elizabeth. When you're raised in the civil rights movement, you see images in your dreams all the time. This is direct bloodline, like Portia is, but this is even closer to Hosea Williams. This is the daughter of Hosea Williams. So Portia's grandfather is Hosea Williams, the activist, and then Portia's father is Hosea Williams, who is this woman's um, brother, or you know, brother. And then you have Portia's brother, Hosea Williams III, which I explained that to y'all before. My father, Hosea Williams, was on the executive staff of Martin Luther King. And I grew up thinking that all nine-year-olds went to jail for marching. I can understand Aunt Liz, though, saying that her life um, that she wants to find herself because her life has revolved around the civil rights movement so much she probably just started damn drinking gin and juice. Yeah, she probably been so holy trying to live a right life to continue her father's legacy. She ain't want to live no party lifestyle or no go out to the bar and shit like that, dating and shit like that. She probably stopped that a long time ago. You know, ain't no telling. She probably never started, just started. So I never knew anything else but fighting and marching, picketing. That was my whole life. Portia, don't do Mama Gina like that. She's so dismissive. She don't want to hear shit Mama Gina's saying. I want to get rid of the negative part of me that does not allow me to be forgiving. If there's also anyone give me, as I, as I struggle with unforgiveness, Good job. I may have made you uncomfortable. I ask that you forgive We're going to come back on around. I know I'm not the host, but I gotta say this, man. I'm really like proud of everybody. Uh, especially Mama Gina, like, I'm, I'm proud of you. I am letting go today of things that are not important. I go to the pool, each other's like, oh, daddy, 
I was like, man, that's important. My daughter, that's it. Today I am making it very intentional just to be more about putting me first. Why didn't this why I had neck ass sitting right here by Lauren? You were just staring at that ass, talking about buying shit, giving her the creep smile. Then you seen your wide neck ass right here by her. Okay, um, I don't have a whole lot to say. I haven't had much animosity with anybody in the group besides um, my, Mama Gina and I. Really, Portia is with the drama again. Portia, the reason why the shit popped off at the last dinner. Now Portia finna pop it off again. Lord have mercy. I had an uncomfortable luncheon. When someone mentions that Dennis was a cheater, you get Okay, upset. but you were a cheater too. I feel like she and I have to have more conversation about it to get to a place of forgiveness because I'm not there. I definitely feel like this process has brought back some of the emotional issues that I had when I was with Dennis, but I'm not ready for that. But I guess that's what we're here for. We're here to express our true feelings and how we truly feel, so I guess that's what we're here for. Because after Dennis and I broke up, I was upset with Dennis, and I felt like she should have been upset with him too. That's what truly, I think, severed a genuine, deep relationship with her. Portia, I guess you could say this is an authentic part or authentic um, moment for Portia. She probably is right. It sounds about right that she was upset with Gina because Gina wasn't as upset with Dennis as Portia was. Portia wanted Gina to just scold his ass and let him know you wrong for doing that damn girl like that. And she didn't do that. She didn't do that. Um, so unfortunately, Portia couldn't have her way and, and got upset with Gina for no fucking reason. So Lauren, you take the stick because I noticed that as Portia was speaking, your toes literally curled under your feet. And I want this to be healing for you too. I feel like I need to forgive you for our working relationship. Portia's being so nonchalant and dismissive of Dennis and Gina and now of Lauren. Since Lauren is telling her about herself, you know, you, you are the reason, our work life. I ultimately quit working for Portia because I was undervalued. In my opinion, I was never fully appreciated. I still probably hold that against you a little bit. Okay. And then Portia starts scratching her face like whatever, rolling her eyes like whatever. Uh -huh, yeah, okay, whatever. Damn, Portia. I'm a Gina. Like, I'm, I'm proud of you. I go to the pool. Bitch, I'm a snipe first. Okay. Lauren says she will never work for Portia again, but I want to pose a question, Lauren. What if your life and your child and stuff depended on it? Now you done fucked around and said the wrong damn thing. You said you will never work for again, so if you really needed to, you can't probably because you done said the wrong shit. So for me to say it today, I think she probably feels attacked, but I will never work with her again. But you know what? Portia probably upset Lauren that much that Lauren is just like, you know what? Even if my life depended on it, I wouldn't give a fuck. I'm not working for that bitch no more, ever again. Fuck her. I won't work for we, you anymore. I will literally will. just work for their we company. We will. We will. I'll be on the street with my daughter. Portia cannot accept responsibility for her actions. And I know, you know what? It's not easy for a lot of people. It's not easy for you. And it's naturally human for you not to want to accept the wrong that you've done or the hurt that you've caused on somebody. It's natural for a human to be that way. But Portia is just not here for what Lauren is saying. She's ultimately unhappy with where she was in her life, period. I'm not happy. I'm tired of working for you. And but honestly, I can kind of agree with Portia. I think that Lauren was not happy with where she was in life, but I also think that Portia did play a part in her unhappiness. So um, Portia got to accept responsibility for the small part that she played at least. So making me the big bad wolf and being able to knock me down somehow empowered her. I just think Lauren is a little bold that she revealing this like this and not talk to Portia on a personal level, which she probably already did. That's probably why she got clearance to do it now here on TV. I don't know. So come on in, don't touch the water. We're going to have them visualize the water cleansing themselves. I think it's time to use the water to release what we are letting go to clear out some negativity in everyone's life. It's like a little bath, huh? It's like, it's like a little bath. Bath. <laughs> Final and last scene, scene nine. Portia and family arriving to another dinner in Mexico. Let's see how this one go. Going like, where am I gonna go sit? Going to go sit by Dennis, cause you know you looking for where he at, where he at, so I'm gonna go sit by Dennis, so I can make sure I got a good sight on Dennis. Uh, Fancy. How are you? Uh, I don't know where to sit. Anywhere you want to. I'll just stop the shit. I don't think she worried about Danny. Oh, you sit next to me even Gina? I am. Yeah. Right on track, because I'm going to kick her butt. Oh. <laughs>
Don's so messy. Why would he ask Gina where your son at? You already had an inkling. You know where the fuck he at already, bitch. You had an inkling of where he was. Oh, Gina, where your son at? He had other plans tonight. Gina said my son had other plans. Period. Yeah, I literally just took a shower. Okay. I literally just took a shower last minute. Myself. I'm being summoned. Oh, stop it. Oh, Gina, where your son at? He had other plans tonight. So I hear Dennis was talking about Brittany and Dee. And she's here, though, sorry. Did it happen? I don't know what you're saying. This is weird. It's nothing you can say, Portia, because th this is a grown man, okay? You cannot stop him from having some pussy. You got this dick that you sitting on every night, and this boy at this goddamn resort, at this retreat, at this place, and what you brought him for, the babysit your baby, y'all baby? You can't do him like that. He should be able to bring some pussy. Unfortunately, if she a bitch that was just at five points... And now she at Mexico, Bitch, you got to deal with it. She went from five points to Mexico with Portia Williams' family from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know she happy as fuck. But I think Dennis would, would fuck a random bitch from his bar who drive a, a, a little beat-up-ass car or who on Marta, a little hoe-ass bitch with gonorrhea. Oh, whoa. Come right over here and fuck this bitch because he ain't got nothing else. He's trying to make himself happy. He's trying to fill a hole. But that's his fault. He fucked up like this. He the one had Portia taking his ass, dragging his ass by the ear to counseling and he was kicking like a damn baby and didn't want to act right. Now look, you act like your ass bothered. Is Dennis and Portia really done? Things are never over with the baby mother. Well, Portia playing the fuck out you cause she got you on this goddamn show. I don't know if you getting paid or not, but I would hope so. Cause she playing the fuck out your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gina said he had a guest who was already in Mexico. She talking as if the girl was already in Mexico. He didn't want to come to dinner with us? He had a guest yeah, she to come tonight. Shadow. A guest? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who was in Mexico, so he decided to spend some time with his... No, this bitch just came from five points to Mexico, bitch. She not from... No, she wasn't already in Mexico. So I'm trying to make it like she's some elite bad bitch or he some uh, uh, high-class-ass nigga. He know bitches in Mexico. No, 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 no. This bitch just flew in straight from five points on the corner down there. Why are y'all so worried about Dennis having a date or a friend in Mexico? Who was in Mexico, so he decided to spend some time with his guests. A female guest? Yes. Oh, I know why. It's because Portia, like I said last week, still has a connection emotionally with this damn boy. So of course she can't she the family can't let him go. If Portia still has an emotional attachment to this boy, then the family is still gonna have an emotional attachment to this boy. They still act as if Portia them Portia and Dennis are together. So to hear that he has a date here got them looking like Is she coming to dinner? Like somebody just said, Dennis cheating on Portia and they still together. They not together no more. You getting it mixed up and they getting it mixed up, Portia. Oh no, it's her birthday, so he took her out. What? Air. At this point, I'm just dealing with the consequences of this toxic mother. He is now toxic. It's toxic. She's very toxic. She told me to my face that I cheated on Dennis and that she said my mom said it, which is a lie. Portia is right though. Gina should be apologizing for saying that Diane told her that Portia cheated on Dennis. When someone mentions that Dennis was a cheater, you get Okay, upset. but you were a cheater too. No, I did not cheat oh, on that him. That wasn't what I heard. Well, you're- According to a certain person? A certain person. Mom. Ooh. My mom never said I cheated on him. I know what conversation I had with your mom. So, and she couldn't apologize for it in a ditch earlier, which is like, this is a truthful space and you still can't. She said, if That's I, weird. if I. But only if, only if Diane did not tell her that shit. So if Diane told her that, then she don't owe you no apology. But how do we find that out? How do we find out if Diane actually told her that shit or not? We can't until somebody come to fuck clean. She then says to me that I cheated on Dennis. And she says, you told her. 
I told her what? She said, your mother said that you cheated on Dennis. She she said she admitted it. Oh, my God. You know what? Well, I'm not going to swear to God, but that's a lie. Now you tell her her face, that's a lie. Okay, I know that's a lot. So basically, let me act this out for you. I'm Gina and I'm Portia. Here go Gina. She on the phone with Diane. They drunk, okay? Gina saying she sitting there listening to Diane. Diane running her mouth. Uh-huh, girl. And so, yeah, she get on my damn nerve. And da 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 And you know, um, Dennis probably mad. He probably just upset that Portia, um, you know, cheated with that guy. And I told Portia don't do stuff like that. I didn't even know Dennis found out, you know? And Dennis, boom. She was like, oh, so Portia cheated on Dennis. See, Portia told her mama, I already told Dennis. So don't talk to him about it. But in actuality, she probably didn't tell Dennis. Dennis never even knew about it. Portia was not a saint, and we were still together. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know if I want to go now. That's because your ass probably got drunk one night, running your damn mouth, and then your goddamn heart in your stomach because you're like, oh, my God. Yeah, you ain't know. Shit going to hit the ceiling fan like that. That lady said she held that in her back pocket for the right time. Now, all Diane need to do is make sure she keep lying. Or Diane can't lie. Because, look, if Diane keep lying and this lady got a recording of her saying this shit, then that's going to be the fucked up part. Because then she'll be like, hey, Diane, you ain't say that. No, no, you just tell me if you said that or not. Did you say that, yes or no? No, 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 Diane, you just tell me if you said that or not. Did you say that? Well, what I'm trying to say, no, you tell me if you said that or not. No, I didn't say that. Bitch, I got a recording of you saying it. Then it's going to be over. Then she got a recording and she pulled Linda Tripp on that ass. Bitch, it's going to be over. I'm sorry, it's gonna be over. Lauren is so absolutely right in her confessional. Portia's putting the blame on Mama Gina right now, but what she's really upset about is Dennis bringing a date. She really needs to stop. Simon doesn't need to see this. Portia is projecting her anger off on the wrong, toward the wrong location, towards the wrong place. She is more so upset at the fact that Dennis has brought a date on this Mexico trip, and she was not expecting that. She told him no. The bitch better look like a bus, and the bitch probably don't look like a bus. <laughs> So if Dennis can donate a bus, why can't he bring a date? Child, he could bring a date if she looked like a damn bus. <laughs> ah, but since I don't know what she looked like, thank you for the bus. <laughs> she probably don't. She probably a little bad bitch from Five Points. Ain't no telling. It's what it is. We good. Come on. Ain't no big drawn out. Shit. Okay. Come on. Right. I love that shit, Portia. She sound like a. A down ass bitch, she said, look, ain't no drawn out shit. We finna go up in this motherfucker and like we was not talking about Dennis and where he at. That ain't what you pulled me to the side for. You pulled me to the side cause we talking about Pillar. She got a little cough. That's what we be talking about. Lord forbid. Let's not call that on her. She ain't got no cough. Pillar boo boo, uh, a different color. How about that? You okay? Yeah. Okay. Porsche is a damn lie. Okay. Last week you just said you want Simon to be honest about his feelings. Even though my goal is for Pilar to be able to enjoy her stepfather and her father, I do want you to be honest with me right. about your feelings along the way. Uh, I'm still a man, dad. Now when you come back to the table, he asks you what's going on, is everything okay? You say, yeah, you should have just went on and told him what the deal was. Go ahead and tell him. You ain't hiding shit from them, because Lauren gonna tell it. Everybody already know. Gina's sitting at the table already telling it, so you ain't hiding shit. You can't be. Go ahead and tell him. You just lying. You bothered. Stop lying. Can't tell this man last week to be honest, and you ain't being honest. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Who's missing? Who now Portia texting Gina that Dennis brought a girl as if Gina didn't already know this. Those are two seats. Oh, because Dennis brought a girl. Are we waiting to I see sure if they're coming? We're not so we waiting. We got appetizer. That's where Portia keep fucking up at. She keep trying to tell Gina the wrongdoings that Dennis did as if Gina is going to do something about it. But if you remember, you just sat up here and said you was upset with Gina that she didn't get mad, as mad as you were, with Dennis about something Dennis did that upset you. Because after Dennis and I broke up, I was upset with Dennis, and I felt like she should have been upset with him too. That's what truly, I think, severed a genuine, deep relationship with her. I so now... I don't understand. You're telling her something and you expect her to get upset or get mad at him? You're still making the same damn mistakes, bitch. She not finna be upset. She don't give a fuck. You got a man? What you expect? What do you expect, Portia? Yeah. If Dennis showed up to this dinner tonight with his date, would you try to welcome her with open arms? I'm not that mature right now. Now. What? 
Really, Portia? How could you do him like that when you got a whole man sitting right here? I don't understand. Londi said it earlier that Portia gonna be sharpening eyes if that bitch come. When Portia finds out that Dennis brought a date, Portia is going to start sharpening her knives. See, I just said that, Aunt Liz. I just wanna thank Lena for being here. This is her last night with us. As far as Lena goes, I am not coming against her. But what worries me about the work that Lauren has been doing with Lena, if Lena leads Lauren into Aunt Liz is so right. Lena cannot conjure up spirits and not help dissolve them and not help put them away, lock them up, kill them. You can't do that. She's a witch. That's why I call her witchcraft. That's why I say that. Taking the covers off of old wounds and doesn't provide her with a methodology for healing, then she's just going to leave her with a bunch of opened up wounds. And it's going to be a nightmare. So Aunt Liz is that type of ATL old lady. She need another Coke. She probably drink the fuck out of some Coke. Can I have another Coke, baby? The storm's <laughs> eyes don't even water. I feel like I'm very nonchalant when it comes to a lot of things, so. You just like, I'm crazy. internally crying. You just can't Join the it. tears. Uh, I need a Coca-Cola when you get a chance. Oh, God, Lundy, why did you go there? I mean, I know I didn't openly share it. It's a note, but I was in a relationship with someone, and the entire time it was toxic, it was abusive. I just remember being utterly scared around the person. Can I have a? Last night, you, like, got up and asked what I was going to do. Stay out of it! What are you going to do? Oh, no, you're not standing up. Girl, bye. So I was just wondering, like, where that aggression came from. So Lundy, why would you even go here? Oh, my God. O-M-G. Oh, oh, now oh, you want to use the trauma that I've been through to say that I did something to you no, yesterday. No, no, I'm not. In but you use my abuse to get to this conversation, no, so I no longer want to have this conversation with you. No, that's I'm not Indian what I did. Well, listen, oh, listen. Hey, wait a minute. Let me... Lundy is so mean. Why is she going here? Really? Just let me let me just say let me talk. So I just want you to apologize. I'm not. You see, do you, do you no. but you understand why she may be receiving no. it that way. Storm says she don't speak to me, bitch. I don't speak to her. Bitch, I love Storm, okay? I don't really know Londi. I'm just that person I speak when spoken to. So she never spoke to me, I don't speak to her. So I'll just keep it real. And I know how to read her when she wrong. So when she wrong, I will be reading Storm, but right now she ain't wrong. To address everyone at the, the table. How can you be so hurt myself, about you know, being beat up, right. but then you try to stand up and beat up somebody else? Wait, I'll wait. wait what? Lauren, the assistant, is over here whispering to Lauren, the sister, um, and Lundy about Storm, and Portia ain't having it. Like, literally what's happening at the other end of the table. Hey, we're trying to figure this out. We're just trying to figure it out. But you cannot figure it out while she no, is we're talking. we're trying to figure it out. She's it's still talking. talking. Damn, Portia went slap the fuck off on them by her little cousin, period. I'm super annoyed that Portia is clearly taking Storm's side. At this point, I feel like anything Storm says, she's just gonna be over there. And it's a clear divide. And of course, Lundy is mad at Portia taking Storm's side because like I said last week, Lundy and Storm, or, or Lundy and, 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 and Lauren, are jealous of each person's relationship with Portia. Everybody want a better relationship with Portia because she's the cousin or the niece or the sister with the money. She's the one with the money. She's the one can get me this and get me out of this and get... So of course, of course everybody want to argue over Portia and not really have a true argument with Portia but argue over her. You know what I'm saying? Storm, I've tried to be nice to you. I've tried to say, hey. No, no, you're not. Wait, Storm, wait, let, wait, let, wait, let, wait, let you finish. Let you finish. Storm, no. Storm, now you're interrupting. Storm. Now you're interrupting. Let me finish the story. Hey, let's just have a pause. Lundy just jealous of their relationship. That's all. That's what it. That's what it's giving. That's what it's giving me. Everyone has talked when I was talking. But okay. you were ta you literally interrupted when true. she was did. talking about a traumatic situation, Lundy. You're not even listening. Simon is speaking. The wise man. What happens here, when you talk, she talks, all you see is red. You're not hearing each other anymore. And that's counterproductive. I don't really know Londi. You know, honestly, I'm gonna be real with you at this time. I'm not, I'm not open to getting to know you. And Storm has a whole right to go there. Like, I don't want to get to know you now at this point. I don't want to. And I feel her, period. I don't want to get to know you at this point. Deuces. Chuck the deuces. Storm, I've tried to be nice to you. I've tried to say, hey. No, no, you're not what Storm. Like, 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 like. Lundy is being so mean for no reason. Damn, turkey neck. If you felt like I offended you yesterday, then I apologize. The same way that you have triggers, I'm just trying to get you to understand that I have triggers. I don't want to trigger anybody, so I don't want people to trigger me.
Okay, I'm sorry. I ain't going to do the girl like that. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Please hit that thumbs up. Hit that bell so you can be notified of every video we post. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can be subscribed and never not see our videos whenever we go live, whenever we post a video, whenever we post a post. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, The Urban Binge, and on Bego at The Urban Binge. Um, you can also listen to our podcast wherever podcasts are played, the Urban Binge Radio podcast. And make sure you scroll down our YouTube channel and watch other videos, guys. Watch the other videos. Please hit the thumbs up. Please hit the thumbs up. That's the only way my videos can keep being viewed. If you like us, hit that thumbs up, please, so much. And if you don't like us, still hit the thumbs up no matter what. Merry Christmas, everybody, and I'm out. You have provided us with such spiritual guidance, and we appreciate all of your support in that. You said you have someone else coming? Yeah. I'm going to bring in a life coach. Her name is Elle. She's amazing. Super simple. Super fun. Positive. Nothing heavy. You can't say nothing else, either. Nothing that can make anyone cry. There's no guarantee. So I know guarantee. Next time, more portions family matters. We'll have some fun tomorrow. We'll do some ATVs. Oh, we'll figure out who's going to go to the spa, who's going to go to the tequila bar. We the secret tequila. Cheers. Can we slow down? I never, I believe. Stop music. Okay. Who caught him cheating? Don't want to cry. Now, now in the morning, we're going to start with walking meditation. How do you walk and meditate? <laughs> what are you fixing within you? I feel like I am fixed. You're not. And I know you're not doing the work. And this was your idea. Since you're here, um, do me a favor. Hit those big words down there. Subscribe. You see that? Yeah. And if you like the video or if you didn't like the video, hit that thumbs up. Also, hit that bell so you can be notified every time we go live or post a video. You don't want to miss our content. I'm telling you. You can also follow us on all social media platforms. You can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and a new one, Big O, at The Urban Binge, okay? You can also Google search our podcast. If you can't get enough of us, we're always posting on our podcast talking about interesting topics. So just search The Urban Binge Radio Podcast. And you can find us on several podcast platforms, i.e. iHeart, Spotify, and any podcast platform that you prefer. And after you're done with all of that, scroll down our channel and I'm sure you'll find a lot more interesting content like this video. See you guys later. Let me finish getting dressed.